Let's see. One, two. Let's see. Let's see it start. Okay. You hear that little burbly? It's got the demon badge right here on the engine. And then it says 170 on there. This is like, feels like metal. See that little detail right there? That's on the vent. All right, so I'm gonna start it up right now. Let's see how much power we can. Man, I don't know what's brighter, this sun or this dang Dodge Demon. And where I earned her Christ Dodge Jeep Ram, Queen Creek this time, right? Because they're the one that had it. Gilbert didn't have it. All right, just look at that. This is the Dodge Demon 170. The regular Dodge Demon, first off, is already gangster. Imagine like the Dodge Challenger 1320. This is like that taken up to the next, next, next level. Cause the 1320 is like a super specced out Challenger. Basically, you know, be able to have good performance and good traction, be able to drive good. This is ultimate top level right here. From the tires, from the way that the little badge looks, right, that's pretty sick. <laughs> of course you got the traditional style and everything. But this one comes with the crazy drag racing tires. Look at this. 315-50R17. I mean, just look at this thing. Like, it's like... <laughs> and of course, you get that nice red leather interior. It's really nice, in my opinion. I think it's like, it's real, real nice. Now, you see right here, look at that. See the embossing 170. It can, because in case y'all don't know, this thing goes zero to 60 in like 1.6 seconds, which is like crazy. See how the steering wheel has got like that flat look right there? And all this is Alcantara. All Alcantara inside of here. This thing is nice. Very nice red seats. And if you want to go in the back, very simple. You can pop that. It still comes with seats. You get this performance with the seats for this vehicle. It's not like you're being forced to not have seats in the back seat. I mean, this vehicle is like, ah oh man, I could just go on and on about how sick it is. And you still get all your normal accommodations. The trunk is still nice. And not to mention, this is the last call version. Last call of this version of this vehicle. So you're not gonna be able to get another one of these in the future. So I highly anticipate this one being a like collector's item you know it comes with a uh, mickey thompson i think that's like the best tire i wouldn't even put tires like that on like dang they're like and i'll put tires like that on an audi like all right so i told you 315s in the back 245s in the front and look, big old brembo brake four piston in the front you see it's got the srt almost like a highlighter yellow looking color there and then when you come around to the back Still with that nice highlighter yellow color. Boom. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a Dodge Challenger, right? SRT Demon 170 without having the wide body. You got the rear fender in the back, but you got the skinny in the front, you know, because this is like the, the straight line champ. <laughs> straight line champ. So that's, this is like definitely for someone who wants to be drag racing. And this thing has like the ridiculous hood. They should put this hood on like all the Hellcats. Like the, the demon hood, the demon hood is the best hood I think you can get, especially with that big scoop. Like, look at this. And then if you look right there, I don't know, I hope you can see that in the camera. It says alcohol injected. You see that right there? Alcohol injected. And of course, in the front, it's still got all the standard stuff, you know, normal headlights, all the extra little things that come with it. All right, so speaking of engine, let's go ahead and get this hood popped so we can check out this demon engine. No, of course it's gonna be a Hellcat engine, 6.2 liter supercharged. Let's check the tag actually. As you see, 6.2 liter V8 supercharged, you know, eight speed automatic transmission. Now let's open this thing up and see what's in here. Challenger hood. It's got the piston assistor right there on the side. But one thing that's different about this one, it's got the demon badge right here on the engine. So you see it's got the demon, like it's like sticking out in like, like 3D, you see that? It sticks out 3D. And then it says 170 on there. This is like, that's like real, that's like, that's like, feels like, feels like metal. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe some kind of cast or something. But you see the, the whole manifold black. I think I've seen it on the other ones where it's like the, like this standard color. But you know, this one, they made it black. I like that. Really clean interior. And then of course you see the last call badge. I'll put the exact specs of the engine up here. 
I know it's super fast. If you think about it, if someone can afford this, this is definitely a one to have. I know we're talking about like, it may be close to Lambo prices, but you're talking about Lambo performance as well. Very nice. All right, let's check out the inside real quick. Now looking at the interior, you see it's got the nice red leather, Harman Kardon stereo sound system. Like even in the back seat, you got that nice red. It's like a deep masculine, like red. It's not like a really bright fire engine red. It's like a more, I don't, I'm not sure. It's like, like dark, a dark red, nice color. It's not like my, my, my red mic cord. You see that? that like highlighter, like fire engine red. It's like that leather interior. Grandma, like she get in your car, be like, dang, when you upgrade from the caddy. When you come inside, of course, everything else is like the standard stuff for the Challenger, your normal armrest. But inside here, you got a couple of different chargers, two USBs, an auxiliary port, as well as a 12 volt DC, two cup holders. You got climate control down here, uh, your shifter, you got SRT mode, you got launch control, track button. We're gonna turn this on so you can see all that stuff in just a second. And then on the inside, you'll also notice that you got like this nice suede inside as well like it's this doesn't feel like a car that would do zero to 60 in two seconds i know it's not exactly two seconds you know and somebody's going to correct me in the comment section but yeah basically like zero to 60 in about two seconds like anything close to two seconds 2.2 2.3 2.4 2.0 point, all the way 2.9 or three seconds like you're moving and this vehicle is like up there that acceleration you get those good tires on here 315s you know instead of like the wide body like scat packer charger or hellcat you know the, the regular ones like 305s this one you get 315 so that's like that's that's like really good traction right there for you to be able to get that power to the ground and get going i mean look at this little detail right here you see that little detail right there that's on the vent all right so i'm gonna start it up right now hear like the the throatiness of it like you can hear the engine right you definitely hear it i don't even have to leave the mic outside for you to be able to hear it of course you got all your different little modes all this stuff up here you can change what you see like you see how it says miles per hour right now you can change it to do different things you can change the tire pressure fuel economy you see trip info audio messages like you can just do everything inside here then over here you can control your multimedia system you go in here and you can see extra little features you see srt mode see that you can see that drag let you see all the power transmission and it's basically like let you like alter where the performance is going on the vehicle like the transmission power shift distraction so you get the srt mode go into all that good little stuff srt dashboard what's that okay yeah so a little bit more in-depth performance pages uh you always gotta wait for it to load at least for a couple a couple of moments you see the horsepower right there now this thing is supposed to have a thousand horsepower so you can like hit the gas a little bit you hear that like you barely even get on it and you see the power go up but this has like a more uh violent kind of sound when you rev it you see in their g-forces and stuff timers gauges uh g-force you know when you're doing your burn downs and donuts and everything else dyno okay where's dyno let's see how much power we got see right there you can see let's see how much power we got it doesn't i thought it was gonna be a little bit louder it showed 400 horsepower i'm pretty sure that like the governor like restricts it a little bit so you're not going too high but you don't want to be going like 6,000 rpm so we had like 400 horsepower and we hit 5,000 rpm just for like a split second as far as everything else on here not sure what else let's see with launch control can i even push that i think maybe you have to be in drive or something to probably use that or something um yeah but other than that everything else up here is pretty standard i mean but you're not getting this vehicle for that but it is nice to know that it comes with all those normal amenities that make the vehicle still like somewhat normal I mean, like, but oh my gosh, like the tires in this thing is ridiculous. Like, I've seen photos of it 
in the past videos, you know, of course, like I'm at the Mopar dealership all the time, but like seeing it in person, it looks sick. Like no lie, if even no matter what Challenger I had, even if you had like the GT one, you better get you some of these <laughs> GT tuner, GT street tires. <laughs> no, I didn't say GT, that says ET, my bad. ET street and they're Mickey Thompson's. So this is definitely the one to get. I mean, like if you can find one at like a decent price to be able to get that demon, you'd be owning like a serious piece of history. Like I'm not trying to be like jumping on the old oh, child the charger the bandwagon or whatever, you know, but like, like you can't help but respect what, what it is, you know, it, it is what it is. Somehow they made this thing be able to go zero to 60 in like two seconds. Somehow they were able to figure out a way to make that happen. A vehicle that people always talk mess about, saying that it couldn't get traction, it can't go fast, it just burns out first, it's slow, da 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 Until the Hellcat came out, you know? Now the Demon, this one is like, the traction is unreal. It's like unreal vehicle, it sounds, way better when you rev it. Like, this is like all the technology that Dodge has right now. I mean, maybe not all of them. You know, they still got some stuff in the lab, you know, a little bit of stuff. For like a factory vehicle that you can buy right now that you can drive on the street and not just the track, it's definitely something to, something to reckon with. So just so you know, I'm not gonna be driving this vehicle. I wouldn't even wanna risk driving this kind of car. Granted, you know, just driving the regular Hellcat is enough. I mean, granted, this thing has way better tires, but still, it's like, I'm good. I'm good on driving it. <laughs> like, I don't even want to drive it. Like, man, when you when you when they let you poke around in the car that got the do not touch sign on it, you get to touch it and you get to open it up and turn it on and everything on, rev it up and do all that stuff. I'll take that. That's enough. I don't need to drive this thing because. Uh, just the regular price is, uh, you know, total price is 123, 123, and of course, you know, depending on what dealership you were at, you know, there's gonna be some sort of a markup, you know, depending on where you're at. But you know, this is right here, this is the red key, all right? So, just so you can see, I'm gonna do a little, uh, let you see from the key one more time. Let's see, let's see it start. Okay, you hear that little burbly, all right, so you can check out the website for the dealership that I'm at right now because, you know, they only, they didn't even have one of these at the other dealership that I usually make videos at, but they got a couple other exclusive cars here. I might have to make a few videos of those as well, but this is Earnhardt, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, and Queen Creek, all right? The other one's good over the Queen Creek, but you can check out the website. I got it down below in the description box. Uh, you can even do state-to-state -state delivery. If you want to buy this online, you can. All right, it's legit, legit website, all that good stuff. You got to worry about it. All right, catch you guys in the next one. Sage Media, peace.